name's Kelly. I'm a PhD student at Rothamsted Research. This means that I'm pursuing a doctorate in agricultural science and I hope to take this towards a career where I can contribute to the minimising the impacts of agriculture on the environment whilst uh, maintaining productivity. So I'll tell you a bit about what my work actually is and what I do, but first I want to tell you about how I got here. So I never thought that I would be a scientist. I um, started out as a gardener and um, I dropped out of college uh, because I was having issues with my mental health and I enjoy being outdoors so I dropped into gardening um, and then I went into forestry but I had to give that up because of the wrist problems you know working with a chainsaw and I went back into academia to study um, and I wanted to actually be a, a surveyor um, for like planning applications I wanted to survey trees for that so I went to do environmental conservation at university but throughout the course of my studies I found a real love of learning uh, finding things out and I got to know the problems of the uh, environment and I wanted to know more so I just kept going I um, I started um, with uh, I boosted on to to a um, BSc from a foundation degree and then I went on to do a master's and uh, now I'm doing my PhD so it kind of escalated there. So um, when I chose my topic for my undergraduate dissertation I chose agriculture because of the impacts. 70% um, of the UK is farming land. So I wanted to contribute to knowing a bit more about conservation in these areas. But whilst I was working on that project, I really discovered um, the thing that influences agricultural landscapes is farmers. And I met the farmers. I, I, they all took me around the farm tours. They were so interested in what I was doing and I loved working with them. So I wanted to do more of this. So I, I took it on to my master's study working with farmers and a social science kind of study. And in my PhD, I work a lot with engaging farmers in the work and making sure my work is applicable to them. So I, I blend the two kinds of things that I'm interested in. And I, I discovered that I could really make a difference to this. And that's, that's what really drives me. So my PhD is working on beneficial beetles. And going back to my vision of a scientist when I was younger, I do work in a lab sometimes. I do work on a computer a lot. But I also get to go out in the field, meet people, do work on the ground, trap beetles and count the beetles and see what's really happening in these environments, link it up to real world uh, scenarios. And I get to talk to the farmers and I get to talk to the general public and tell them what I'm doing and why it's so important. And I do have to do some quite complicated looking maths, so it's never been my strong point, but I have a lot of help with it. Um, we have a dedicated statistics team that helps, so you don't have to be great and super nerdy, although I am quite nerdy. Um, my love for beetles is a bit weird, I will admit. But you don't even need a doctorate or, um, or even a degree to get into science. There's lots of job roles um, from lab technicians to field workers to tech support, bioimaging. I know people I work with every day who do this who haven't got a degree and they, they love what they do and they are arguably as important as people who's got the doctorates and the, the actual what you'd think of as proper science qualifications. These people are the core of the workforce that, that make our science happen. So you, you can do those kind of very practical job roles or, or techie job roles too, to contribute to science. But what you do need, what I would say, is that you need curiosity and you need passion. Uh, that's what drives me through, knowing that I can do this, knowing that I can make a difference to make agriculture and conservation work, um, that's, that's what really makes it so that I love what I do. I really do love what I do. 
And I want to tell you, you could do this too. You could make a difference.